Hi guys, uh, Daniel here from Unique UK. I'm here today to make a short video for you guys about some of the problems that people have encountered with the OTA or the wireless update and to provide solutions for some of you guys and just to show you some of the symptoms that would have happened. Basically what's happening is some people are not formatting their SD cards that are using corrupt SD cards or in some cases there is a problem with the download of the firmware from our servers. And what that's causing to happen is it's causing the H not to upload the firmware correctly and to fail halfway through the update. Now the symptoms that you're going to see are the type in H will appear to be dead, it will appear to be lifeless. None of the LEDs will light up on the end of the arms. The power button will be illuminated, that will light up, but you have no life in the drone. You won't be able to connect to it and there won't be any way of, uh, of, of connecting to the drone basically. What we're going to do today is we're going to teach you how to flash the flight controller of the Typhoon H directly through the flight controller. You're not going to have an upgrade package to upgrade the camera. You're just literally going to update the flight controller inside the H and you're going to do that through the GUI. So in order to do that, what we need is you need to have your computer loaded with the Typhoon H GUI. You're going to need a micro USB cable, you're going to need a battery and you're going to need your Typhoon H. First of all, we must connect the Typhoon H to our USB. So basically what we do is the Typhoon H comes up and you'll notice underneath the uh, belly of the machine, right, by, uh, right underneath the camera, there is a micro USB port right here. So all we do is we connect our USB into our micro USB port. It's really important that we don't connect to our PC and it's really important we don't have a battery inside the H. Apart from that, the next stage is to download the file that is going to reboot the system. The next thing we need to do is we need to load our GUI. So after you've loaded your GUI, your graphical user interface, what you want to do is you want to click on Tools, Firmware Updates, and you want to load 1.28 into the toolbar. Now it's really important that you understand we didn't, you should not fly your Typhoon H on this firmware. This has been designed just to reboot your flight controller. So after I've done this, all I want to do is I want to connect the Typhoon H to my PC using my USB cable. Once I've done that, the update process will happen. If it doesn't happen automatically, just select update. What you'll see is you'll see a green progress bar going across. Once it's finished, select yes, and your Typhoon H has been backdated to 1.28, ready for you to reinstall the latest software. Okay, so now what should have happened is after you install a battery into your Typhoon H, after installing 1.28, the machine should, be re should reboot no problem, okay? Everything should be working. So the next stage now is to re try and reinstall version 3.0. So the latest firmware where you're gonna to get tons of new features. To reinstall 3.0, you're gonna need an SD card. Now, there are two ways to install 3.0. One of them is through the wireless update. The other way is to download the .bin file straight from our website. Download the 3.0 bin file directly to your SD card and then take that into the camera and do the upload straight from there rather than the SD16 downloading the firmware, you can do that through your computer and place it on the SD card yourself. So there is two ways to do the update, it's completely your choice. So I've already downloaded the .bin file, placed it onto an SD card and put it in the bottom of my Seago 3 Plus camera, so I am ready to go. So what I need to do, connect the uh, machine as normal, system settings, OK to exit my screen, I'm going to go to about controller, and then Typhoon H, I'm going to click on update. And then I'm going to make sure my remote battery is above 50%. It is, so I'm going to click on OK. And what's going to happen is the Typhoon H will unpack the file and will upgrade my flight controller, my gimbal, and my camera. So 
once you have rebooted your flight controller on 1.28 and then you have reinstalled the latest firmware, then you must please make sure you clear the data from your ST16. The next thing I need to do is go into pad, I need to go into my applications, into settings, and then I need to click on apps. I scroll to the right twice, and then I'm going to scroll down to flight mode. Once I'm in flight mode, I need to clear my data. Okay. Once that's done, I press back, and then back to the home screen. Please make sure you do an accelerometer calibration, and please make sure you do a compass calibration, and then you should be ready to go. If you do encounter any problems, or you do want to see the full tutorial on the wireless update, please see the other videos in the Unique Support, or failing that, please contact Unique UK, Unique Germany, or if you are watching this in America, unique.com.